Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, nerdlings of all ages, welcome to this week's Tavern Brawl. Now, before I begin, congratulations to Angelos Finiketos from Greece, who wins this week's free Hearthstone card. If you fancy winning some yourself, you can! Just go to the video description, click the link, and enter the competition. Good luck! You have until next week's Tavern Brawl begins to enter. Now, I haven't been around for a couple of weeks, uh, mainly because last week I was at the Italian Esports Open. It's fantastic stuff. I was presenting the stage there. I hope you guys got to see a bit of the action. Loads of cool games, fantastic tournament, and great city as well in Luca. I'm back now, though, and we have the Great Summoner Competition Standard this week. Summoners from across the world have come to compete. When you cast a spell, a random minion of the same cost is summoned for you. And I am using a Brawl deck posted on Hearthporn by Dr. Horus. Really simple to play and really effective deck as well. In fact, so effective, you might actually get some decks in this Brawl designed to counter it. That's how effective it's been. So it's a great starting point. I highly recommend you check it out. The link is in the video description. Basically, all you really need to do is gain control of the board early and uh, curve out as much as possible. You can see there are a lot of cheap cards. Uh, all the way up to Cavalis Tome for number 5 there. Mana cost only 3 cards that cost more than that. Violence, Portal, Flame Strike, and Pyroblast. There are some versions of the deck where you might want to chuck in a couple of Blizzards for board control as well. But let's just go ahead and see how well it does. Oh, so yeah, it's been a good bit of time off, I have to say. But I'm also glad to be back. I'm also glad to be making these videos again. And uh, it's nice to be home, you know? Oh no, is this going to be a mirror? Let's see. So, the whole point is to curve out. Now, I probably don't... Maybe I can keep the arcane intellect? Oh, that was terror bad. Terror, 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 terror bad. Greetings, fellow seeker of truth. Not much I can do there at all. And if we see a mana worm now, I'm going to be sad as... We do not. Well, do I want to get the board control? Yes, I do. So I'm going to use the Frostbolt. And I have actually got uh, Medivh's Valet in the deck as well, amusingly. So I pick up a secret, that'll be useful. If not, Arcane Intellect is a fine card. Alright. No problem at all. So this is far from the ideal start. Pterodax Hatchling is cute, but unfortunately is not what I wanted at the start of this game. Oh my. We're getting pretty serious here, aren't we? Let's see what happens when... Uh, I mean, I should really have known this, but let's see what happens. When we summon that. Okay, yeah, it is just going to be a zero mana cost uh, minion. That's a little bit unfortunate. But that's okay. Oh, yes, boys. That's exactly what we wanted. No complaints there at all. A little bit of bad RNG for my opponent. Okay, now he's getting annoying. Still small minions on the board, though. I do need to regain control. Let's recognize that. Now, five doesn't really do much. I taste the mana. Grabbing a blizzard could be really useful, actually. I think I'm going to grab the blizzard. I think I'm going to grab the blizzard. And I think I want to play board control with this as well. Okay, not bad. So he might sack both of those to get rid of the mana addict because it is a little bit annoying having plus two attack. I've picked up a cheap blizzard. Now, because this is uh, this spell has had its cost reduced, 
I don't actually know if I get a four mana minion or a six mana minion. I think it's a six because you see the numbers in green. I'll find out in just a moment. It's been a while since I've played this brawl. Uh, it is, of course, a repeat brawl. I don't quite remember all the details. That seems like a sensible thing to do, though. Oh, wow. Well, I'm not going to need to play it yet, so maybe we'll just wait. Hope you guys don't mind. Yeah, there's no point playing that right now, is there? Alright, six damage to face. Six damage to face. If he floods the board, I have a blizzard. Then we find out the answer to the question that we were asking earlier. But in the meantime, things are looking okay. Phylon's portal is rather nice. Put it on your Not scared about that at all. No problems whatsoever. My master will return. Now this... This is a good value turn. Boom! That's got to be the mic drop, right? I mean... I could... Does that count? No? Okay. Let's show our guests a good time. Hmm. Oh, that's mean. That's mean indeed. Should we just find out if this blizzard works? Let's find out. Pass me that arc light. Yeah. It's a four. Okay. Well, there's our answer. It's not exactly the world's greatest value, Blizzard, but at the same time, I have four minions on board versus one that's frozen. Oh, he's also got a Blizzard. That's really frustrating. Gonna have to play Fireball Polymorph. Maybe. Absolutely play Fireball Polymorph. Hmm. All right, come on. There can only be so much removal. The Firelands Portal, the second one, has got to be good, right? Beetleberries, my favorite. I'm not that worried about that spell. I definitely don't have mirror image in mind, so this is all. Uh, this is a bit of a different deck that we're seeing here. My oh my god! I'm so glad he's out of mana. Oh my god. So four, five, six, seven should be fine. I'm almost certainly doing that. Copy the lowest cost mini. Uh, that's actually okay if I get a um, if I get a secret at some point. Let's be realistic here. Yeah. Could summon a copy of the Ogre Magi, actually. Should we try? Should we really rest that tempo? Yes, I think that might have been a good idea. Okay. Now, I think he's used his, um, almost all of his board clear. I haven't seen a flame strike out of him. Two secrets does not scare me very much. If I kill off the sheep first, that's going to be good, right? Oh, he's not going to let me. He might have a counter spell. Okay. 
to the Sindori. Excuse me, you are on fire. You are indeed on fire. Tide of rises. You know what? I'm going to do that. And I'm doing that specifically because I want the water speaker to still be there if he uses a flame strike this turn. Delicious well, this is working very well so far, wouldn't you say? Now, if that's a nice block. Out of my jungle. Oh my. Well then. Excuse me, you are on fire. True story. Let's absolutely go ham. And now we decide how we want to do this. Three. Oh, okay. Well, we know what's happening here then. We know what's happening here, don't we? Swamp King Dread is delicious! Now, don't forget, he has to play the minion. I'm pretty sure playing a spell and doing that does nothing. He's struggling slightly. Pretty sure he is an ice block. Excuse me, you are on fire. For Lorthamar. He's going to be getting slightly worried right about now. How many Medivh's valets have I played? I have an army of monkeys. I am basically the wicked witch. Except I'm Medivh. I will admit, Deathwing is a rather impressive card to be having. Well However, I think it might have been a little bit too little too late. Fairly, uh... Fairly sensible end to the game, although the start of the game really wasn't what we wanted, was it? Let's go ahead and open this pack, and we'll play one more as well. So remember, this deck... Oh, I haven't had a legendary in how many tavern brawls now? Come on, guys. There's only so much I can say dust is dust before I actually do want to see a legendary. Uh, remember, this is Dr. Horus's deck from Hearthpawn. Make sure to go ahead and check out that link in the video description as well. His deck list. Go ahead and give him all of your upvotes. Very popular at the moment. And now we're up against a priest. This, this feels a lot better. Oh, you know what? I think I might actually just keep this starting hand. I am very, very happy with that. I am extraordinarily happy. Happy, happy, happy. Greetings, fellow seeker of truth. Let's see what we got. I believe both of us are playing with the Overwatch card backs. I think I've still got mine equipped. I wasn't looking that closely. Ooh. I want to cast a spell. Ooh, a flame strike. That will come in handy later. Later. What you want? Yeah, okay, that's a bit annoying. I want to keep the frost bolt if I can. Hmm. Let's go with Cabalist's Tome. Spells are fun. Lightwell could be fun. It only cost my soul. That sounds super cheap. Let's give ourselves some options. Ooh, that is excellent.
Watch me not complain about that. And he hits into that. And I play the Frostbolt as well. Delightful. A cheap Cabalist's Tome could be very, very good indeed. Oh, I think that's where the Frostbolt's going, isn't it? We have many secrets. This is going to be a little bit of a slow burn, guys. I keep summoning things with zero damage. I don't really know what else to say to that. I mean, give some targets to shoot at, I suppose. So we'll see. My army of murlocs. Not really that fast, to be honest. Wow, okay, he spends cards to kill the light while well, I'm reasonably happy with that, to be frank with you. Would not complain. Blizzard would be delightful. If only there was another cheap Blizzard. Now, is there any reason for me to play the expensive one? Not really. Kew and Tormade Spellbender Medea's Valet seems sensible. We have many secrets. Excuse me, you are on fire. Excuse me, you are on fire. Okay, that's not bad at all. The cheap Cabalus Tome is going to be... An annoyingly difficult card to decide when to play. In theory, I could play it straight away, hope I get another 3 mana spell, and um, curve out on it. But it, it all feels a little random. I'd rather rely on something a bit more robust. Oopsie-daisy. Yeah, you can have that instead, because I'm a nice guy. Plenty of options for turn 7, fewer options for turn 6. I have the Flame Strike on turn 7. Behold the glory of a new self. Right away. Let's be patient. Let's acknowledge that we're probably going to use the flame strike. I must remain here. To Again. I mean, he's doing all right. He's doing all right. Now it is time. As you wish. Right away. Now it is time. We get to use all the high mana cards now. 
Okay, that's dangerous. That's really dangerous. If he gets a pyroblast, I'm done. That's incredibly dangerous. Not cool. I can flood. Right, time to get value. Let's not allow them any value whatsoever. Oh no. Okay, ice blocks become important. I could really, really use that second flame strike right about now. Really, I could. Not getting it. Let's put more taunt in the way. Let's sheep that. Feel my pain. Let's properly go for it. So I have two taunts. I'm being very risky by not playing the ice block. I am the blade of the goddess. Very risky indeed. Greetings. I think he thinks he's going to be able to uh, heal his way out of this. I think you're going to flood your board with one wand, and I'm going to be fine. Is what I think. Greetings. Ooh, it's gonna try and be annoying. Oh, that's actually quite an annoying card to have. So, 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 so. What's his most dangerous card? That one, probably. For Dalaran. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Feel my pain. Feel my pain. Go on. Show me your moves. Show me your moves. You can greetings me all you want, mate. I just need to survive this turn. Oh yes, Cthune! Cthune is being buffed so much. My turn, I think. Greetings, fellow seeker of truth. Here's the question. How much do I care? Observe and reflect. Total corruption! Total power! Okay, so that's the deal 5 damage out of the way. And target. Well played. I think that should be good. I still have the ice block. And Firelands Portal is delicious. Lol. You have been. Thought so. Nice try. Those um those stolen mage secrets were actually really annoying. Getting the Cabalist Tome 
kind of messed with my head there. I was a little bit worried I was going to get a taste of my own medicine. But we managed to win out. Ladies and gentlemen, two wins out of two. Go say hello to Dr. Horus on Hearthport and give him a little bit of an upvote. That was a pretty nice deck. And I'm guessing it's been on the ladder, you know, a day and a bit now. So those games weren't that easy. But it was uh, delightful to come away with two wins. I hope you've enjoyed this week's Tavern Brawl. Don't forget you can go ahead and enter the competition in the video description to win yourself some free Hearthstone cards. And don't forget as well to check out my review of the GT Omega Racing Evo XL gaming chair that I use for all my YouTubing and casting from home. That's it for me from this week's Tavern Brawl. I'll see you next week for more. Take care.